Today is March 20th, 2023. If you're new to my channel, once a year, for like the past three or four years, I've been making videos on March 20th, whatever year, just to explain where I'm at in life, if I'm happy, unhappy, goals, or whatever. I just want to say first off, if you told me a year ago I'd be moving all the way to Nevada to be a video producer, I would be in such shock. I wouldn't be insanely surprised, mostly because this has been a goal of mine for like a long time. I knew deep down in my gut I would get there, but I wouldn't think it would take a year to like get there. Maybe I thought it would take longer or something. I always just had that goal and I'm like really happy that I achieved it because looking back at that video like a year ago, yeah, I was not happy even with the then job that I had, but it was a good stepping stone to get to where I am. But also mentally just going through a lot of stuff at that point and trying to figure out how to fix a lot of issues also, I noticed that my hair has gotten super long again because <laughs> in, in that last video, my hair was like up to here and now it's down here. I do need a haircut like really badly <laughs> just to like trim the end. I, I want to keep it long again. I, I, I finally decided that like long hair really suits me. <laughs> also, I'm like cradling this deformed cactus pillow that I bought. <laughs> my goals for like this apartment right now is I want it to be like western, southwestern desert theme. Just because we live in the desert, why not make it like western theme and have like a little bit fun to it. Eventually, I do want to do like a apartment tour once I finish like furnishing everything, it's getting there. It's slowly turning into the place that I really want it to be. I will say that since I've been here for like a couple months, the one biggest challenge that I've had so far is making new friends. I get along with everybody at work and my coworkers, but it's just kind of like, you know, we work a lot and I mean like a lot and you see them like every single day anyway but it's just kind of like I'm trying to find friends elsewhere and it's just been a little bit hard doing that especially since you really don't know like anyone out here on top of it deleting social media probably isn't helping me find like community groups or whatever at the end of the day I still don't regret deleting my social media if anything I find it kind of hilarious that right when I deleted my social media i had like the biggest career shift in my life as well as uh just straight up moving somewhere else <laughs> i also like really want to join a rock climbing gym out here just because yeah we like live near the mountains and i'm pretty sure there's just like a rock climbing community out there. If I join a rock climbing gym, that could be like another way to make friends. It's not hard for me to make friends. It's just like hard getting started with like anything and seeing where that goes. I'm gonna wait till like the summer to do that because like right now we don't know if like the team's gonna go in the playoffs or like how long that'll last. We're getting to like the final stretch and the regular season ends next month and then like everything's gonna be like total chaos. So that's also kind of like why I haven't been uploading very frequently. I wanna try to get back into making YouTube videos. I do miss it. Uh, it's just like, I haven't really had the time. You know, this is the first time for me living on my own. If you don't count college, there's like so much stuff I have to do throughout the day. Researching to find furniture. Gotta go grocery shopping. Gotta do laundry. Gotta clean this place. Gotta do dishes. Gotta take care of myself. It's just a lot of stuff to do every single day. Usually I do try to find time to make YouTube videos. We'll see where that goes. One thing I also want to like address that I stated in the last video was that I was dealing with chronic pain and I just kind of wanted to like recap where I am. I'd say like three years ago I started picking up on this chronic pain issue. Couldn't figure out what it was for like a year and a half until after the fact I figured out that this pain was called or diagnosed as hypertonic pelvic floor dysfunction. Eventually went to physical therapy, saw a chiropractor. From last year's video, I was still in a lot of pain 
then. The first time I experienced not being in pain was in December of 2021, but it only lasted like two weeks. And then I would have to go see the chiropractor again and get readjusted. Pain would go away for a while, like temporarily, like a couple weeks. And then I'd have to go back and get adjusted again. So it was like this constant battle for a really long time, having to go get readjusted every two weeks. And it just kept snowballing into like all these issues that I didn't realize were just a contribution to what I was dealing with. So I just kept wondering, why does everything keep shifting back after like two weeks of getting adjusted? I'd be in no pain, totally fine. And then like slowly but surely the pain kept creeping up and then I would have to get adjusted again. Like I started like documenting everything that was like going on with me. I bought this notebook and then I just started like writing down like, yo, this is like everything that's wrong with me and stuff. Just for like my own like sanity, I was writing down what type of pain I was experiencing, if it was familiar or not, what I should do differently. Like I was seeing like a pelvic specialist uh, at the chiropractor for that and she was trying to help me out. A lot of things kept contributing to that. I found out it was like the shoes I wore, the way I sit, the way I stand, the way I sleep, the way I walk. That kept going back and forth for like most of last year. And then finally, I would say by the time October or November rolled around, I realized it was like the way I slept was contributing to the very chronic portion of it, like the stabbing sensation pain. They said like pills help with like less strain when you lay down. So I would take a pillow, have it under my knees if I'm sleeping on my back, or if I'm sleeping on my side, have it in between my legs. And then like right away, I would say that's when the super chronic pain disappeared and got better. So part of me was like, this is it. This is like the final piece of the puzzle, but still pain stopped creeping up, but it wasn't as bad. I would say at like this point, I was 90% better. Last time I got adjusted was in December, right before I moved. A couple months go by, last week, I finally found a chiropractor out here since I moved. She's like a really nice lady. One of the, like the first things she told me was that she noticed that my knees like go inward. I never like realized that even though it's like so obvious now. It's one of those things where uh, it's so obvious after somebody points it out, even though like not even realizing it. My knees point inward, but like when I stand, my feet point outward got adjusted and everything. But I tried this new method where I would sleep strictly on my back and still have like the pillow under my legs. Like if you lay down on your back, your feet stick up. Mine like rest going outward. I didn't know that wasn't normal. God, I feel like so dumb now that like I didn't even realize that. Clearly that's a problem, that's wrong. Like you shouldn't be doing that. Lately, I've been trying to sleep with my feet sticking up. Saw the chiropractor this morning. Had to get like re readjusted. I'm going to start like not just doing pelvic exercises, but like also working on foot exercises and stuff to strengthen my knees and like my inner thighs because we need to like work on like shifting my knees to like go straight again. And that's probably the contribution to like everything that's been like going wrong. It's really fascinating how like the human body works and like everything's like freaking connected. So it's like if one problem somewhere, another problem is elsewhere. You saw in the last video, there's a problem with the way I walk, like the heels of my shoes get worn out. Feet problem, my knees go inward, okay. And then like my thighs are like really incredibly weak, which contributes to like why my, pel my pelvic muscles are going out of whack, which is contributing to why I'm in searing fucking pain in my pelvic floor. So everything's making sense now. It's just snowballing like crazy at this point. After like solving like the sleeping, the side sleeping issue, I thought that was it. But no, there's more to the problem. I'm really gonna like keep working out. I, I really need to go back to the gym. I'm just incredibly weak physically. Me too and Ashton were going to the gym for like a little bit last year. 
but things kind of got sidetracked and we stopped going just because like they had their wedding and everything and got busy with work so it was just like kind of like all these excuses but it's just kind of like now i'm kind of on my own i really want to like fix this issue fuck it's been like ruining my life here and there now it's just like i found the next step maybe this is the last step i don't know but like i'm not in chronic pain anymore which is good it went from like a stabbing sensation to like a burning sensation to a stinging sensation the pain is definitely reducing for sure getting the pain reduced has significantly improved my mood and my emotions and my anxiety which is like really good i've been like working on that as well becoming mentally stronger and being more like self-aware it's a lot of work and it's a lot of stress a little bit but i've been practicing healthier habits you know i just want to like get this sorted out and just feel 100 percent. that was my goal at the end of all this that i want to be 100 percent. how can i get to 100 percent? i'm definitely way better there than i was a year ago i am in a better place than i was two years ago even three years ago there's a lot of things that i miss that were in the past but that's just kind of life at the end of the day you know you grow up and you move on and not everything's gonna be the same and here i am now working my dream job and i have my own place and so I don't want to cry. Oh my God, fuck. So happy tears. These are happy tears. I swear to God. Yeah, I just want to see where everything goes physically and mentally. But also, yeah, like fuck, I need friends out here because like friends have been like such a pivotal thing in my life and so important. And yeah, I really need friends out here. All my friends back at home have been like calling and texting me, which is like really sweet. And I love you guys if you're watching. Again, I hope you guys like my dented cactus that I bought. I thought it was so stupid and cool. That's why I bought it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I guess I'll see you in the next video. More videos to come. Okay, cool. I love you guys and keep rolling. Okay, bye. <laughs>